this is my summer morning routine ish if i'm being completely honest i don't really have a morning routine so this is me starting to create one because i'm literally a lump a sack of potatoes when i'm at home because i have no motivation but today i'm actually getting a haircut so i actually have to leave fairly soon so i'm gonna do a very quick little makeup get ready with me sometimes i use this like this glossier skin tint but i think i'm gonna pass on it today and i'm just gonna use the little like stretch concealer i really like it it's very sheer you don't need a lot i mean like the makeup i do nowadays is just very natural um i actually lied i'm gonna use a little bit of this typically i just like put it on my fingers and then i kind of use it as like a, a moisturizer i mean it is a tinted moisturizer but just to make my face even and then i'll use like a damp beauty blender once i've like blended it in with my hands honestly everything i've learned about makeup i learned on tiktok tiktok is a freaking lifesaver but it also is bad because i'm like addicted to it but my makeup has gotten so much better ever since i've started like following what people do on tiktok i did watch people on youtube do makeup a lot but one thing i found was like when it was really big on youtube the makeup wasn't very natural it was all very like full coverage and i just liked watching it for like the art and because i could never do it now i'm going in with powder a little just under the eye okay bronzer I like this one. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm so good at describing things. I can never tell if I put too much. Eh, that looks fine. Bronzer's done. I just had a little bit of an idea. I've been seeing on TikTok people do their makeup while they tell facts about themselves. And I don't really have a following on TikTok, but there are people that watch my YouTube videos. So maybe I'll do like a little get to know me makeup step routine thing. The first fact about me is that I'm actually a middle child. Woohoo, the forgotten. Always forgotten. <laughs> I'm just joking. Dad, mom, if you're watching this, I love you. But, you know, the middle children always feel that way. It's just inevitable. I guess I've kind of sensed it in the fact of, like, school, where I was always, like, always had a sibling at school, where at times my brother and my sister would never, wouldn't, actually, they hadn't been to middle school together. They hadn't been to high school together. The only time they've ever been in school together was elementary school, which is weird because I have been at school with both of them. Another thing, now that we're talking about family, I'm actually eligible to get a Canadian passport. Um, my dad, he was born there and he grew up there and he's actually a dual citizen. So sometime in the future, I'm hoping to get my Canadian citizenship. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. I have family there. So also, one now one thing about my mom is she is a flight attendant and my entire life growing up I've just always seen her like leaving for trips and I've always wanted to do that. I've always looked up to that and I'm like I want to be I mean she doesn't want me to become a flight attendant but I still want to do like traveling and whatnot. So if I can find a job that allows me to travel that would be great. I've actually only left the country two times in my life. Um, the first time was in 20... 16 or 15 I went to Paris. My mom took me and my sister and my grandma to Paris So that was really cool except my fashion choices were not the best You think you're going to one of the fashion cities in the world and you wear leggings and a zip-up hoodie with running sneakers I regret it very much <laughs> Oh and the second time was just actually for the spring break my mom took us to London and if you want to go watch it, the videos are on my channel. So probably many, many of you watch my videos based on my FIT vlogs, but I didn't start going there. I actually, straight out of high school, um, did not know what I wanted to do. And I went to a school in Boston where I met amazing friends. I loved it there. I didn't regret anything about my, my decision for going there because I actually played volleyball. I was on the volleyball team. <laughs> That's one thing people get surprised of when I say. Yeah, I used to, I played volleyball all through high school, middle school, and then my two years of at Suffolk. But it wasn't until like when quarantine hit. Quarantine hit during my freshman year of college. And it wasn't until then when I had like all the free time to think about what I wanted to do. And so then I made the decision during my sophomore year to transfer to FIT. And now I'm in New York. <laughs> So I was running out of time. I actually have to leave like right now, but I finished my makeup and now I'm gonna get my hair cut. Toodaloo. 
I don't think you guys are ready for this. The grand reveal. I was gonna try and do a transition, but it didn't work. So, all right. In three, two, one. Look at how short. You can't even see here. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. It's so weird feeling hair like around my neck. That's like, just like the short pieces. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> shades on oh I look weird from this angle today is a new day I have work at 12 it's about 9.07 right now I'm going to Starbucks to do school work before I go to work happy summer everyone happy summer I didn't vlog at all yesterday so today's kind of another morning routine I'm on my way right now and I just realized one of the saddest things that could ever happen to somebody who is going to study. I indeed forgot my AirPods. I'm debating whether I should turn back around, but I don't think I will because I'm already almost there. Don't forget your AirPods. 